This multimedia player, IINA, extremely customizable, has clean interface, tons of features, like if I press common I, I get to video inspector, I have format H264 and all these details, size of the picture, frame per seconds, track name, number, status, file and everything so it's cool and there is another shortcut if i press command v side menu side menu has video audio and subtitles settings so if i select video i can change aspect ratio on the fly and it's cool i can go back to default or i can crop it or i can rotate it I can change speed. Of course, I can use my keyboard or my mouse to change speed. I can play with the video, brightness, contrast, saturation, game and hue, everything, anything. And I can go to audio and I can play with the equalizer to set it up. I can play not only just a movie, of course, it can play audio file as well. If I have MP3 or something, I can create playlist and play it. Or if I go to subtitles, I can search subtitles on the web or I can load specific one, which I want to play with my with my movie, with my video. And uh, I, can, I can put position, I can change font right here on side menu. It's cool. If I want to open media in a new window and I want to play multiple number of players, I have to go to preferences and put check mark on always open media in a new window. In this case, I can run, like in my case, four windows at the same time. And it's the same video clip. Hey, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to hit subscribe button and bell notification icon and you will never miss anything. Okay, let's try to go to preferences and to see deeper what we're gonna get here. Top general. We have four different appearance. It's kind of background. Light, ultra light, dark, ultra dark and behavior. Behavior is uh, very important. If I click here, always open media in a new window, I can, I can open same clip video multiple number of times as many as you want, as many as your system can handle. And I like this option. Sometimes I want to same piece in different windows. If I select here, enter full screen, by double clicking on a file, I can open full screen every time. But, and there is a history and there is a playlist. You can organize your playlist or a screenshot. You can save your screenshot in a different format, like PNG by default or JPEG different format of jpeg user interface there is a window size where you can set it up for retina dis display resolution to see this video player always on top when you're playing or you can set it up controller on top in the middle or floating high after three seconds there is small settings clear cache and next one is on preferences codec so there is a number of treats you can change from zero to up to 11 hardware decoder you can disable it like now or you can enable but if you enable most video filter wouldn't work properly well I keep it usually in disabled position audio initial volume is a hundred percent or maximum you can go to 200 well actually you can set it up to thousand and uh, preferable language and uh, subtitle two tabs there is a general where you can set up the source of your subtitles and the coding you have long list of uh, preset encoding and uh, from where you can download it style and position style and position well it's clear you have to select uh, you can choose your font you can choose size of the font color positioning center bottom margin this is subtitle and the network well this is just from where you youtube file if you want to preset it let's go to the next one controls you can control your multimedia player with the three different tools mouse your magic trackpad and keyboard and here the best place where you can set it up sensitivity of the button and which button will respond to which action and you can do very extremely customized sensitivity for every mouse button gesture for your magic trackpad here's another good place for customization your shortcuts and keys so there is a four different files i have it on my setup that i can preload it and i can have my mpv file with my 
already customize shortcuts. Here's a long list of all shortcuts and you can load different file and by double clicking you activate key mapping display mouse double click activation button. So if I, if I do double click on my mouse it will cycle to full screen or I can reprogram it to something else, it depends. So this is the place where I can go and I can reprogram any key to anything else the way I want to use this software. So any key can be programmed to any kind of action and the place is here.